Hey, what's up you guys? My name is PJ, here to do a little unboxing. This is actually my first video. Well, my first uh, toy unboxing review video, so yay! Uh, I'm going to be editing and recording all this on my phone because well, my computer decided to die, so yeah, it's, it's, it's opened up and uh, I gotta inspect it in a few, but oh well. But anyways, yeah, here we go. This is the package. As you can see, it's from Big Bag Toy Store. Not sponsored at all. I just I just love the way they handle things as in shipping and, and all that stuff. Uh, price is a little high. At least I'm in Puerto Rico, so yeah, to me, it's, I think it's like $12, $11. I don't know. I, I don't know how much uh, people in the States pay for that, but I don't know. Let me know if I'm right, if I'm wrong, if it's too expensive, if I'm just a cheap mofo um but anyway yeah let's get back to this uh unboxing so the unboxing uh is one of my favorite uh characters in the game i'm sure you guys most of you play because if you're watching this video it's going to be in the title and uh, i usually buy like dragon ball z sh figure arts figures but lately yeah i i love fortnite the, these fortnite figures i love um McFarlane toys. I used to collect a lot of spawn figures in the day, but yeah, here we go. This is what it looks like. This is if you guys have never uh, purchased from Big Bad Toy Store, this is how it's going to look. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing out of the ordinary. Get a cool, uh, yeah. Get this out of the way. So yeah, there's a figure. Drift, one of my favorite characters in the game. Um, this is what it looks like on the side, on the back, got another Drift, uh, logo, or picture, McFarland Toys, so yeah, let's, uh, let me get this guy out of the packaging and show you what articulation. By the way, that's not a knife, this is a knife. Okay, so right off the bat I noticed this is very finicky to get this, uh, this thing off. Oh my god, oh, there we go, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to. We'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get back. We'll, uh, I'll show you when it's out of the package. Okay. So this is what you get in the packaging. Um. You also get this uh, Fortnite. Oh, I'm saying no. Fortnite stand. They all come pretty much all the same. He comes with his uh, pickaxe, which uh, I don't think this is real. No, this is not his pickaxe. He has his own pickaxe. I don't understand why they didn't. You know. He didn't come with his own pickaxe, but still, I mean, oh, this is cool. It's pretty flexible, this right here. But we'll get into the articulations in a few. Um, comes with this backling. Again, uh, not sure this belongs to him, but, you know, whatever. And you have the scar. Okay, so, uh, like I said before, he has his own pickaxe. I still don't understand why they uh gave him this one but still i mean if you collect the figures uh like i do i'm still missing a few in my collection uh, you can always mix and match but i like how this is flexible this is pretty awesome i mean it's not it doesn't rotate it's not like on a ball hinge or anything but uh it's a very soft pliable plastic um yeah this oh i don't want to break it this also you know it's very soft but I wouldn't move this around too much, but yeah. And then we got this, uh, the back bling. I thought this opened up, but it doesn't. It wouldn't make sense if it did, would it? Yeah, got a little uh, life fest. Goes ports right on the back. And the uh, scar. Yeah, there we go, the scar. And I believe uh, I do have the, um, the Cuddle Bear team leader, I think it is. She came with the scar as well, and it actually looks, I don't know, does it look a little different? Uh, oh, they're pretty much the same. The paint is a little different though, like it, this one looks a little brighter, but still, I mean, it's fine, not bad. I mean, it'd be cool if they came with like skins on them, like in the game now, they're all coming with skins. And we have the base again. Uh, very straightforward, just as Fortnite. Uh, they are a bit tight when you put the figure in, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it won't move, but when he's on there, but I feel like they're a little too close together. 
I don't know. I always put one foot on one side and the other foot I just leave it out. But uh, yeah. And now going uh, to the figure. The figure, I I like it. This is one of my favorite characters in the game. Uh, I feel like he's a little too long. Like he's very elongated. I, I don't know. Uh, the head, the articulation on the head is obviously... It's hindered by the... You can't take this off, in case you guys were wondering. This does not... That I know of. No. The mask doesn't come off either. Um, we do have... There's the peg. Let me see if this fits in pretty well. Ah, not bad. Not bad. It doesn't look bad. And, um... Okay, so yeah. We do have... This is a little tight. Arm articulation that goes... That far without breaking. <laughs> Uh, goes all the way around. Double ball hinge. Uh, you do get wrist swivel. Eh. Yeah, you do. All the way around, not bad. Um, about the he does have like a crowd. Uh, yeah, like a uh, what do you call that? It does have a ball hinge there, but again, it is hindered. You can see a little bit there, and it's very pliable plastic. It's not bad. I. I have to admit, it's not bad. You can, you know, side to side, up and down. It's not too bad. That's how far he'll go back and forward. Um, kicking out that far, kicking back right there. Double knee joints. They're a little stiff right now. He does have some, mm, not too much ankle pivot to the side. Does move back and forward, and you got the toe swivel there. Um, it's not bad. It's not a bad figure. I, it would have been awesome if this was separate, but again, I know how that would look if it was. I mean, if you're not too crazy about moving the head side to side, um, it's not. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, he does. Stand on his kinda on his own again. Oh, let's see what he looks like on base. Well, see, for him, it's fine. His legs are nice together, but for example, the skull trooper, I always have to keep one leg out. But yeah, so that's drift. Oh, and another thing I've noticed holding the weapons, uh, the skull trooper and the uh, cuddle team leader, I think they both have like the finger out open so you can put it inside these this hole of the uh, weapon and he does not it's I mean whatever uh, it, it's a little gripe I mean I prefer having it but if you don't care then then I guess it's no big deal but yeah that's just one thing I wanted to point out so like I was saying see and I love it because fits right in always very well looks good too she also has it. Uh, I believe the sniper rifle came with him, but kind of liked it on her. And the swivel here is a little loose. Let me get rid of this. But, I mean, it is what it is. This is a little heavy. I don't recommend really putting two of them, two weapons at the same time. They really don't do that in the game anyway. But, uh, yeah. Also, something to keep in mind, I know that the figures don't... Uh, don't come like that or they're not intentional oh, not intentionally meant for that focus there we go oh my god focus there we go but the weapons do have like this little peg on the top I don't know if you can see that peg is not focusing get in there anyway you see it it's right there but I don't find any use for it but what I do like is at least his back bling, you can clip that right there. So if you wanted to hold his weapon here, or the pickaxe. Actually, this thing is really tight as well. Get in there. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yeah, uh. Okay, so I couldn't get this hand onto the pipe. It's uh, too tight. I guess I can heat that up with some, some hot water and loosen it so it could fit in there better. But... Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, I can have him just hold it a little better. There we go. Okay, so I managed to get his on his backpack, but as well, like, see? 
That peg, I mean, unless you guys know what it's for, I have no idea, but you know, it pinches, you have to finick this thing in the bag if you want that look, it's up to you, so you can have them like, this is his pickaxe, holding his pickaxe, having the gun back there. Same thing with the uh, cuddle team leader, but she's got this ridiculous, I mean, okay, so the bow's not bad, to me it's a little ridiculous, but I can't fit that gun there. Anyway. Well, uh, that's it you guys. That's my review on this toy. Uh, again, uh, my first time. If you guys have any comments, any uh, things you would like to say to help me out here. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't, just let me know. Uh, thumbs up. And this is for the Fortnite figure or McFarlane's Fortnite figure drift. If you guys want me to review the other two, I mean, just comment me down there at the bottom. And uh, subscribe if you want, if you would like. It's not really my choice. It's up to you guys. Uh, again, hope you liked it and uh, take care of yourself.